Hello everyone. Well, all the way from China via the port of Liverpool, we have this rather boring brown box containing what I think is the cheapest carpet washer I've shown you on my channel so far. The normal price of this EGL carpet washer is around £75. I bought this when it was on offer for £55.99. It got quite good reviews on the studio website where I bought it from. So I thought I'd try it out. If it's any good, I might give it to my mum who needs something small and lightweight for cleaning her carpets. Okay, I think there'll be some assembly to do. So let's get everything out of the box and assemble this EGL carpet washer. This carpet washer has already disappointed me and I'll explain why during the video. But anyway, out of the box, it comes in three main component parts. The cleaner itself, the handle and the clean water container. There are full instructions supplied but no shampoo solution so I'm going to check the instructions to see what they recommend but I would say you can use standard Bissell or Vax solution in this machine or any solution designed for carpet washers i.e. a low foaming formulation. Inside the bag containing the instructions you'll find two screws that you'll need to connect the handle to the main body of the cleaner. The handle fits onto the cleaner with this red trim facing front. So just insert it here. Insert the two screws either side of the handle. Using a screwdriver, tighten both screws until they're secure. And then place the water tank onto the machine until it clicks into position. The mains cable stores on the back of the cleaner via this fixed upper hook and this lower swivel hook. To store the cable, wrap it loosely around both hooks. And at the end, near the plug, you'll see a little clip. Use that to secure the cable together to keep it all neat and tidy. Okay, well the EGL carpet washer is fully assembled and ready for its first use. But before I give it a brief demonstration, I'm just going to show you around the machine itself. Unusually for a carpet washer that doesn't have any hose or attachments, you do get a hose connection port on the front of the machine. So you just pull it up and here in theory is where you'd connect the hose for your above floor cleaning. Now I've seen very similar models to this under different brand names that do come with a hose. So obviously this cleaner is made for other manufacturers as well that do supply a hose. But this particular version costing around £50 doesn't have a hose but then I wouldn't expect it to for this sort of money. Always though, make sure that this hose port is closed when using the carpet washer. If you leave it even slightly open, it's going to reduce the suction and it's not going to draw the dirty solution up into the dirty water tank. So make sure it's clicked, locked into position before you use the machine. Now I'm glad to see a removable front nozzle on a budget priced carpet washer. To remove the nozzle, you do have to open up the hose port first and then you can just take the nozzle off for cleaning. There's still quite a narrow gap to clean if it gets trapped with any hairs or fibers or gunk, but you can at least take this to the tap and run water through this part to help dislodge any debris that might have caught in the nozzle. You can avoid that happening to a great extent by thoroughly vacuuming the carpet before you start to wash it. So that comes off and it's easy to fit back locate it at the bottom and push it back into position and then again of course you need to make sure that you close this red hose connection port. I mentioned earlier that I was disappointed with this cleaner because on the website it states it has revolving brushes so when I turned the machine over I saw this and thought well it hasn't got revolving brushes at all they're fixed brushes as I would expect for such a cheap carpet washer. So yes indeed, this does look like a fixed brush bar, but it isn't. Surprisingly, it moves in a very unusual way. I've just given it a preview myself and I've never seen a carpet washer with this sort of brushing action. So I'm gonna switch the machine on now and you'll see what I mean.
Well, as you saw, this EGL upright carpet washer has a very unusual scrubbing action. Most of the carpet washers I've looked at either have a fixed row of brushes, a rotating brush similar to an upright vacuum cleaner, or a set of spinning brushes as found on some Hoover and Vax machines. This is the first time I've seen any sort of brush action like this. At the front of the cleaner here we have the nozzle that sucks up the dirty solution and just behind the nozzle we have a row of holes that allow the cleaning solution to be distributed onto the carpet, scrubbed in using the brushes and then sucked up using the front of the nozzle. You can take these brushes out if you need to clean them. I've been fiddling with it. It's, it is a bit tricky but there are two clips either side. See if I can get it out easier this time. That wasn't too bad. And the design to me looks like it works on the suction of the cleaner. So this works very similar to the Vax spin scrub system. So there's no belt to break. It's a cogged system that works on the airflow of the machine as far as I can tell. But here is the the brush and you can see how it moves scrubbing the fibers of the carpet as it goes so that is a surprise okay well I've measured the water capacity of the tank up to the fill line and it's approximately one and one quarter liters of water so using Vax solution which needs about 40 milliliters per liter I've averaged around 50 millilitres of VAC solution per full tank. Obviously, if you're using a different manufacturer's solution, you'll need to observe the dosing on the bottle. But if you remember it's one and one quarter litres, you'll be able to work out how much solution to add. Once you've added the solution, just give it a gentle shake to ensure that it's thoroughly mixed in with the water and then place it back on the machine. It is tricky. Now in the earlier part of the video I showed how to put it on but that took a lot of takes. I'm hoping it will get easier in time but you need to locate it at the bottom first and then press it until it clicks. That's another complaint people have made, it leaks water everywhere. I'm thinking it's user error possibly in some cases. You really have to press hard until you hear that loud click and you'll know that the solution tank is on the machine. Okie dokie, well I thought I would try the EGL carpet washer on the dirtiest carpet in this house. Now most of the carpets look very clean, but there are a few stains on this hallway carpet and I think maybe a couple of stains from an excited dog. So it'll be interesting to see if we can just clean this small area using this budget priced carpet washer. Now as I'm using a budget priced carpet washer I thought I would try out a budget priced carpet solution, carpet cleaner solution. This is by Astonish and it's Vac Max Machine Carpet Shampoo. This is designed for use in carpet washers such as this upright machine or any three-in-one type carpet washer. Anything that sprays solution on and sucks it up this should be fine and also it's vegan so if you drink it it's safe for animals now don't drink it folks it just means it's not been tested on animals and it's approved by the vegan society so i'm going to see how much solution i need to put in with the hand hot water and then we'll give this carpet a go see if we can uh, get it looking a bit cleaner this EGL carpet washer takes around 1.2 litres of clean water or 1200 millilitres. According to the dilution rate on this Astonish, you need one capful of cleaning solution per 300 ml of water. So I've put four capfuls of solution into the tank with the warm water, giving it a bit of a, a mix up, and now we're ready to clean. Hopefully, you can see that the carpet is quite grubby here. You can definitely see some staining, especially around this area. There's another mark there. I think you can see that on camera. There's a black mark here, which could be an oil mark. I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to do the whole area. Now these taped areas, looks like taped. This is just where we have a door runner here that just provides uh, a bit of grip it stops it from slipping around I'm going to leave those in place because they're stuck firmly to the carpet 
but I wanted to vacuum underneath or wash underneath and the sides with the doormat up. The doormat's machine washable, so that's gone in the washing machine. So this area obviously under here won't be dirty, but there might be some dirt at the sides, but this is where the main area is. As you can see, it does look quite grubby. Okay then, let's get cleaning. There you go, that's the other side of the carpet, which was a lot dirtier and had some visible marks on it. Looks pretty good to me. I won't pretend that this EGL carpet washer does as good a job as many of the other carpet washers I've shown you on this channel, but those machines cost considerably more than this one. For a budget-priced carpet washer, I'm more than pleased with those results. And of course, the results also depend on the carpet shampoo used. If I was to use a more expensive Bissell or Vax solution, I might have got the carpet cleaner and a bit quicker with less passes. Okay, let's have a look at the dirty water that this EGL carpet washer has removed from my carpet. And as you can see, that is pretty dirty, certainly dirtier than the first load of water I dumped out from this carpet. One thing I would recommend you using in any carpet washer is a good quality defoamer. You'll see that there's no foam in this dirty water tank. When using a carpet washer a lot of foam can be produced and it causes the float valve to cut off before it should. So I'd always recommend putting a little bit of defoamer in the dirty water tank of whatever carpet washer you're using and you'll find that it'll fill up 
uh, with a lot more water before cutting out because there's no foam in it. I've put a link below to the defoamer I used in this video. I've used it several times now and I'm more than happy with it. If you buy from that link, I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which obviously goes back into my channel to help me buy more vacuum cleaners and carpet washers for me to test. You can find this carpet washer on studio.co.uk and the current price at the time of making this video is $69.99 which I still think is good value even though I paid less for mine because it was on offer. I think £70 is still not bad for a carpet washer like this. It has limitations, it doesn't have a hose obviously so you can't do above floor and do all the edges but if you just want an upright carpet washer for carpets it's worth considering. If you have any comments or questions about this EGL carpet washer, please comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.